In this example, we will find the singularities of the two link manipulator. So just looking at this manipulator, we'll say method one, inspection. Or we can do method two, formula. All right, so just looking at this, when would this robot lose a degree of freedom? Well, when it's either completely locked out, so it becomes like one single link, um, or when it's doubled back on itself, and so the tip basically can't even move. So that would be when theta two equals zero or pi. So in the first case, it would essentially look like this, whereas in the second case, it looks like this. So in these situations, the robot loses a degree of freedom because it can't really control the orientation of the claw. It is basically just relying on using theta one and not theta two. So it can't reach things quite as well. So we've calculated the copian before. So we'll just get that one. Instead is determined equal to zero and then solve. For the formula method, step one is forward kinematics. Step two is take the derivative, get velocity. Step three is put in matrix form, find the Jacobian. And then step four, set J equal to zero and solve. Now the Jacobian we found before. We found this Jacobian in a previous video. So now we just need to set its determinant equal to zero and solve for what joint values make that possible. So the determinant of this is going to be this multiplication minus this multiplication. So here we'll have zero equals Next, we can cancel. And group again. So for this, we can use a trig identity. Identity will use is sine of a minus b. So here, a is theta one plus theta two. And b equals theta one. So a minus b equals theta one plus theta two minus theta one, which equals theta two. So now this becomes so our original guess was correct. What we found by inspection, if theta two is locked out or it's completely flipped then the robot loses a degree of freedom and it basically becomes like a one-link robot. 